Okay, so a little bit of time has passed, and the entire staircase is flooded. We need to evacuate now. Oh my gosh, this is bad. This is not good. Oh my gosh, go! Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're back in Stormworks, and today we are taking a look at the SS Gillette 1908 version. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Well, Ice Monster 360 is back at it again. He's built another SS Gillette. This is the 1908 version. So let's check it out. So if you don't know who Ice Monster 360 is, um, he is becoming a household name on this channel. And he has made some pretty big ships and also a bunch of, well, going to be a bunch of SS Gillette ships. So he's built this one before, which we checked out, called the uh, SS Gillette 1927 version. And that was pretty fun. Now we're checking out another version he's releasing called the 1908 version, and he's also going to be releasing another version, which may be a 1950s version, I'm not sure. I have gotten a few sneak peeks at it, but uh, yeah, let's check this one out. So far, impressions look great. I mean, I love this staircase, how it comes down and wraps around, and I'm not just saying that because this is named SS Gillette, I'm saying that because it actually looks really cool. And I like this because it kind of reminds me of the Cunard style, I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, this is also very Cunard-like. You've got the uh, round circular purser's office, but there we are. Let's quickly go down. Let's check out what else is uh, here to offer. We've got some boarding doors on either side, and wow, look at this dining room. I love that vaulted ceiling as well. As you guys may have known if you've been watching the recent Stormworks videos, you'll know I love vaulted ceilings, especially when they have paneling and detail and everything. It looks amazing. So once again, Ice Monster is hitting the nail on the head with this wonderful creation here so going through it looks like we have the galley here as well now we do have some access below so this looks like the engine room and the reciprocating engine room that's pretty cool and then we have a boiler room maybe yes there's a boiler room there's another boiler right there so that is pretty good very nice to see so as we've seen this is what the dining room looks like so let's move forward oh gosh is that a church Okay, no, it is not a church, but it is a sitting room, and it looks like there is a uh, picture of me there. So, yes, very cool. Um, a little bit creepy, but very cool. So, uh, we'll move on. So, going forward, it looks like we've got some cabins, which is very cool. Look at this. Wow. So, he's actually got some first-class suites and cabins going on. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. It's a little mirror. Wow. And then over here, we've got the bedroom and everything, so... Yeah, this is really nice. Now, going forward of that, we've got the bathroom, of course. So, there we are. So, we'll close that up and we'll make our way above. Now, going up, we may actually have a lounge over here or a smoking room. Let's take a look. Yes, it could be a lounge or a smoking room, but it looks very nice. It looks like we got a model of what I believe is the Spamels there, and then we've got a mural or a painting of the Spamels from the JR line. So, very cool. Continuing aft from that, this really is giving me Lusitania vibes because, I mean, Lusitania had the same design here, so that's pretty cool. Now here we are on the boat deck and we've got lifeboats for days, obviously. Look at this, this looks awesome. So uh, yeah, let's move into this room over here. So this room looks like a reading and writing room and it does look like that from the Lusitania and the Mauritania. It looks very, very cool and I absolutely love it. So we definitely got a lot of Cunard vibes from this ship for sure. So yeah, I'm wondering how is the sinking gonna go? Is it gonna kind of roll like Lusitania did to one side or is it gonna go down just level? Let's find out. Now before we find out, let's go to the stern and find out what's back here. So we got a docking bridge. Well, what's over here? Okay, so it looks like it's actually just uh, crew bunks. So there we are. Now with that out of the way, let's actually go over here. What's this? Oh, it's just a hallway I missed. Wow, look at this. We got a nice little cabin over here. So it's got two beds. It's got three seats and a bunch of portholes. So very cool. Oh, look at this. We got a nice uh, little storage cupboard place over here. So this is where you put your dishes or whatever. So let's go to the bridge. All right, let's go up to the bridge and get this thing started. So right over here, we have the wireless room, which is pretty cool. But over here is where we basically control the ship, obviously. So let's go ahead and let's get that started. And we are on the move. So there we are. Now, this thing does require infinite electricity and infinite fuel, so there we are. But this thing moves super fast. Look at this. So we are definitely on the move. So let's take a look at the uh, maneuverability of the vessel as well. And whoa, she rolls quite a bit, but uh, I was about to say nothing it can't handle, but that looks uh, 
a little violent. Let's try to ride it by turning the other way. All right, so that should be good. I'm going to stop turning the ship there, and there we are. Very good. But for now, I'm going to make it nighttime because we haven't really seen a nighttime sinking in a while, and I know that uh, my members have requested that I do a bit of a stormy sinking. I put out a poll a little while ago, and I asked what type of sinkings they wanted to see, and they want to see some stormy sinking. So what about a night stormy sinking? So let's go. Oh my gosh, this is mildly frightening. So uh, yeah, I'm a little scared to press the scuttle button, but let's see what happens when we turn the ship kind of, well, I wouldn't say against the waves, but uh, broadside. So uh, here we go. All right, so we are now broadside, and the ship is taking it like a champ. Not even rolling heavily, it's just kind of rolling over a little bit, and then it just naturally evens out, so good job, Ice Monster. This is pretty good. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna scuttle the ship, and let's just say that our engines have stopped, and we are dead in the water. We've got a stormy sinking, but I don't know the ship's sinking yet, so let's go find out what's going wrong. Oh, that would have killed me. That would have crushed my head between the wall of the ship and the lifeboat, so let's be careful about walking out on deck, so let's go down. Uh oh, that is not a good sight. Oh, okay, yep, we're gonna have to go above and close the watertight doors because we can't do that, so let's do that. So my goal for the sinking is to keep it afloat for as long as possible, so let's see if you can fulfill that goal. So here we go, quick run, 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 run. There we are, and let's close the watertight doors. So here we go, and there we are. Yeah, I'm gonna man the lifeboats, but I'm not sure how well they're gonna work out in these heavy seas, so yeah. All right, let's go quickly launch the boats one at a time here. Let's go quickly launch the boats We have to get off the ship. It is sinking. It is going down. Go go. Oh my gosh. Whoa All right. Well, I've been blown onto the bridge. So that is uh, Quite violent there. We got to be really careful about these boats swinging in. All right. Go 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 So far the ship is holding up pretty well. I mean we aren't plunging quite yet We do have waves crashing over the bow onto the boat deck, but not like crazy yet they're not all the way up here so i think we'll be good for a little bit and what was that noise oh it may be the lifeboats reconnecting so yeah that might not be good at this point i would be slightly concerned that our wireless set is out of service but we do have some flare guns so let's go to the docking bridge at the stern and see if we can fire one or two of them off so let's go so i'm going to use the top deck here to get across seems like the safest way to go so here we go let's go to the stern and let's fire off a flare so we got to go to the highest point possible and you can really start to see the ship is starting to rock around and roll over to one side pretty heavily now so here we go and fire there we go so that should last a couple of minutes to a minute so uh, let's go back to the bridge and let's go grab another and while we're going that way let's go through the interior you can see it's much brighter now that we've got a flare off and yeah i'm pretty sure in a minute or two this is all going to be under soon so uh it is a very beautiful space for sure and uh yeah there it is going under very quickly so here we go let's go quick come on go to the bridge go to the bridge well really we want to go to the wireless room so what we want to do is well we can just throw that one down we can grab another and then we'll grab another one so we've got uh, three flares that we can launch i don't see any other stuff to uh Kind of uh, refill that so uh yeah let's go back to the stern now luckily if the ship does go down which it will um we will have a way off if we are on the outside when it does go down um because there's plenty of boats in the water and possibly wreckage because the boats are being smashed to pieces over there as you can see let's uh, fire off another flare so there we are and we can just throw that over the side there because well we don't need it unless we can find a uh, way to refill our flare gun so yeah so as you can see the flare is dropping down but i don't think anybody's coming to our aid because um i don't think anybody would uh, venture out and seize this rough so uh yeah well obviously the oceanos captain did but uh we don't need to think about that, do we? Anyways, as you can see, yeah, that's uh, pretty chaotic. It actually has formed sort of a chain there, definitely on this side. So, yeah, maybe we could survive on a chain of broken lifeboats. So, uh, you yeah, know, let's fire off another one. And there we are. So, that's done with. So, we got our flare guns at the stern, just in case we need them. They'll probably slide off or something later. But for now, we are going to try to find another means of communication with the outside world. We could try uploading a YouTube video saying SOS help, 
but I'm not sure that would really draw the attention we need, so yeah. Let's go forward and let's see if there's any water leaking in, so um, yeah, let's see. Is there any in the bathroom? No. How about over here? No. So we look okay for now, and that is uh, frightening. I can't actually see anything out those windows. Which uh, means that we are uh, well underwater at this stage. Back up on deck, I'm always noticing with each minute that passes, a larger wave crashes over the bridge. And I don't think that's because the storm is getting bigger. I think that's just because we're getting lower in the water. The bow is now not coming out of the water, and I'm dead. Yep. Oh my gosh, I almost got thrown overboard there. That would have been very bad. But uh, let's go back to the wireless room quickly now and close the door. Now we're gonna put some thermal clothing on because obviously I don't want to go into the freezing cold water without at least something on so yeah and I'll put some uh, med kits in my inventory there I don't need that we can throw that down I'll just grab these two and I think we should be good so uh we are ready to wait out the sinking until the ship finally goes under. Okay so a little bit of time has passed and the entire staircase is flooded we need to evacuate now oh my gosh this is bad this is not good oh my gosh Go! Oh my gosh, go, go. This is not good. It is going vertical right now. We may be able to get to the docking bridge. Yes, we will. Oh, nope. I'm plunging into the water. Here we go. Swim away. Go. All right, I'm back at the surface. And there... Oh my gosh, there she goes. The SS Gillette 1908 sinks directly to the bottom. And it's gone. Well then, that went super quick. And apparently I'm dying for some reason. But, uh... So yeah, that was really fun. A download link will be in the description as always. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.